40 million zloty. That's how much the newly established centers for integration of foreigners are to cost in the Silesian province alone. This was the answer to an interpolation received by MP Zegoz Płaczek. Three centers for integration of foreigners are expected to be established in the Silesian province in Katowice, in Częstochowa and in Bielsko-Biała. The Ministry of Interior admits that up to 49 such centers should be established across Poland. The cost would be around 500 million złoty. My Polacy rzeczywiście chcemy wydawać setki milionów złotych. Do we Poles really want to spend and hundreds of millions of zloty on something that clearly does not work, because if we look at similar centers that have been established in Germany, they have not had any effect. It is enough to see what the situation on the streets is like in Germany and what the issue of migration policy is like in our Western neighbor. The Ministry of Interior and Administration said that no one will live in the centers. They are to be used only for service and information purposes. There are no plans to build integration centers for foreigners. None of the projects are investment projects. Renovations or modernization of already existing premises involving only the adaptation of works are possible. But in the light of the following statement by an MP from the ruling coalition, the credibility of the Ministry of Interior and Administration is called into question. The centres may serve various activities. As of today, they are being built. If we have information on the purpose of these centres and who will live in them, we will provide information. I think that at the moment we do not yet have a decision to accept any immigrants. Talks are being held the whole time. We know that such a relocation is being prepared also to the Polish government, to Poland. So the Prime Minister lied because he said that we will be excluded from this. No, no, well, I think that we will not be, that he will do everything to avoid the allocation, due even to the fact that, as a border country, we have accepted a very large number of people from Ukraine. But at the moment, discussions are going on. It has not yet been decided to accept a certain number of migrants or to allocate them in any place. And yet in Poland, illegal migrants were supposed not to be a problem. We will not have to pay for anything. We will not have to accept any migrants from other directions. The European Union will not impose any migrants' quotas on us. Poland will be a beneficiary of the migration pact. For the time being, the only beneficiaries are the Germans, who don't want any more illegal migrants and who are transferring them onto Polish territory. This is how it has already happened, and according to my findings, we are approaching 10,000 such cases. Someone has to deal with illegal migrants in Poland, which is why the border guard units recently conducted a huge recruitment drive. Hence the opposition's warnings. Tusk, in order to escape the narrative that he is fulfilling the premise of forced relocation included in the Migration Pact, is allowing Germany to transport illegal migrants under the guise of readmission. I'm not aware of any such cases. Secondly, in a mass of thousands or tens of thousands of situations, there may be individual ones that may be questionable. There was such an event. We are against such events. I think our Minister of the Interior, as well as the Minister of Foreign Affairs has addressed this. These are unimaginable things for a neighboring country that is a country of the European Union. What are the actions? Because a couple of months have passed. There were summit talks between the Polish Interior Ministry and the German Interior Ministry. There is boundless trust in the Germans among some politicians of the December 13th coalition. We have very good bilateral, regional and national relations at government level, and I am not a person who would suspect that the government of Germany or any other country in the European Union, which is friendly to us, would act without cooperation with the Polish government. Any country that feels that its capabilities are running out in any situation, not only in a situation concerning the care of people who need help, such a state looks for various opportunities to get out of the stalemate in which they find themselves. The Germans regularly throw migrants here to us and they say come supposedly from Poland, only no one in Poland verifies this. This is not checked by the border guard. We don't have these symmetrical checks. Why? We should have exactly the same as Germany. Symmetrical measures, but the Tusk government is afraid. They are afraid to say anything against Germany, and such are the results that later Germany sends us whoever they want, and we don't know anything. And Polish people spend millions either for centers for the integration of foreigners or for recruiting in the Western Border Guard divisions.